King Bounty 2 is a long-awaited sequel to the legendary King Bounty video game franchise, one of the most iconic representatives of a turn-based RPG genre. The game offers players a truly immersive experience with turn-based combat that adds weight to their decisions whether they are leading an army into battle against unliving horrors or interacting with other characters across the lands. Expand and explore this awesome world and make sure you guys make a lot of alliances. Honestly guys, this game is looking pretty damn cool, absolutely loving the turn-based aspect. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I am the Loot Gamer, having a look at Australia EB Games over here, we grab ourselves King's Bounty 2 Collector Edition, coming through on the 24th of August 2021 for $129.95 Australian dollars and the standard copy for 90 bucks. This is coming through for the Switch. PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Let's kind of dive deep in this, into this collector edition and kind of see exactly what we get. All I can say, fellas, is oh my goodness gracious me. Absolutely loving what we're getting here. We've got ourselves a King Collector Edition box, which I reckon is looking pretty damn dope. Loving the way that dragon is looking. We also grab ourselves the King's Crown, which is a collectible item. A poster, which is a double sided poster featuring artwork and maps. Also, the game, which includes additional digital content, the art book, which is a hardcover art book, and the soundtrack, so a selection of in-game music. I reckon that's pretty worth it for $129.95 Australian dollars. But let me know what you guys think of this game's trailer itself. I'm absolutely loving it. I am a massive turn-based person. This game kind of reminds me a little bit of Divinity Original Sin-like. But I love games like this, guys. With immersive story, beautiful imagery, and lovely backgrounds, guys. This game is going to be absolutely awesome. Coming through on the 24th of August, 2021. Now, let's have a look at the standard copy over here and kind of see exactly what we get. This will will be called the day one edition itself for 90 australian dollars and honestly there's nothing that comes with it no additional dlc just a game itself which i reckon is a little bit disappointing but now having a look at the us over here you can see you guys just grab yourselves the standard edition which only comes with just the game no collective edition for 60 us dollars again a bit disappointing but what can i say fellas it is what it is but let's kind of dive deeper into this game and kind of understand what it's more about so expanding on his legacy with an entire new epic story, factions and enemies, and new features to forge an open and breaking fantasy world for Anatra. With the kingdoms in disarray, countries are demanding independence, bannons prowl the roads, all the overseas nations have denied the king's authority over them, and blighting creatures lie in wait for the unwavery new accident and hero which emerge as a last hope. They determine to bring order to the chaos, play as one of them, recruiting and developing and commanding your personal army in a non-linear adventure of the betrayal and also sacrifice and survive. So fighting for your own future, outsmarting enemy and unique turn-based combat, making difficult decisions and experience the intensity of one of the classic sagas in an exciting new world. This game, guys, again, I'm absolutely loving it, man. I cannot wait to boot this up. Let me know whether you guys want to see a lovely unboxing of the Collector Edition. Who knows? I may even wear that crown when I'm doing a live stream. But if you guys want to check out an unboxing of this, leave this video a massive thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for some more juicy content. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I am the Loot Gamer. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you later. Deuces.